Hey everybody, the Long Shot Signatures here. Gonna show you guys my uh, Cup Series Hero Card Autograph Collection. This one isn't one that I get to add to very often. Um, with the lower series, you can usually send one single request to the team and get back multiple drivers or multiple of each driver. Whereas the Cup Series, you generally have to write uh, driver by driver. And I did that, I think, the second year that I really got back into NASCAR. So you'll kind of see a lot from the same time frame. But, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's not as easy to get these. Um, they're also, I don't know where people get them for the track, because the past few times that I've gone, the only way that I've been able to find them is if there's, like, a little promotional display, and, like, it's just specifically for that driver, or uh, if they do a signing. But the Xfinity series are the only drivers that I've seen that have done signings like that. So... Um, I do know that you used to be able to get some sending uh, emails or messages to like sponsors and everything like that. They would send you signed and unsigned ones. Um, so again, I'm not really sure where everyone gets these other than writing to the team. But we're going to start off here with AJ Allmendinger, who's now uh, in the Xfinity series. I want to say he's the leader in points there. Uh, he's really uh, rebounded in his career going down to that series. Eric Almirola, <clears throat> back when he used to drive for the uh, Richard Petty Motorsports number 43, he is now in the number 10 for Stuart Haas Racing. Got a few Bobby Labonis here. This one I purchased at a flea market. Um, he's my favorite driver of all time uh, for NASCAR, so I think it was like 10 bucks, so I bought it. And then a few of these were different TTM requests that I sent out over the years. So, got his Tax Slayer back in the Sprint Cup days, when he used to drive the 47, and I believe this was his last full-time season in NASCAR for the 32. Got a Brad Keselowski from very early in his career. Uh, someone correctly notified me that, um, uh, back when I used to have my old channel, uh, that this is actually a Cup Series Hero card. I thought it was an Xfinity Series one, so really glad to have that. Brian Scott, uh, he was going to be... My favorite driver going forward, um, the year that I got back into NASCAR, and like two weeks after I made that decision, he decided to retire. So, don't have him to really root for anymore, but he has done a few races here and there since his retirement, kind of filling in for different drivers, but uh, was a really cool signer. I believe he still signs via the address, or via the company he works for now. Casey Mears, back when he drove for the number 13. Chase Elliott from his rookie season, I believe. Signed in red there. This one's pretty recent. Cody Ware from Rick Ware Racing. Got some David Reagans back in the day. Uh, he was a driver, or he's he is a driver that he, he must love signing because he'll generally include extras uh, even now in retirement. But when I wrote to him, I think he sent me back five different signed hero cards which was really cool, and I want to say I got him one more time, yeah, riding to Front Row Motorsports, so I've got quite a few of him, Derek Cope, uh, I don't believe he races anymore in the Cup Series, but he is, uh, or he was a part owner of like Starcom Racing, I don't even know if they're still a thing, but got him through Premium Motorsports a couple times, uh, got Greg Biffle, Back in the day when he raced uh, for the 16, um, you can tell different spoiler on the back of the car. And then I uh, got him when I got back into NASCAR. He signed two of these for me. We got Harrison Rhodes from Rick Ware Racing. This is an old Jimmy Johnson that I got back in the day, probably somewhere around 2009, 2010. Uh, he was a really good signer around that time. And uh, when I got back into racing, he had stopped signing for quite a while up, up to that point. Joey Gase, this one from Premium Motorsports as well. Joey Logano, back when I think he first started in the 22 for Penske Racing. John Hunter Nemechek, got that from Front Row Motorsports. Actually got two from him. Make that three. That, that must have been this year's. Josh Balicki from Rick Ware Racing. 
Got a few of him. This is an old Kurt Busch from uh, when he drove for the two. Landon Castle, I believe uh, this was part of some of the unsigned ones that I received from teams and sent those off to get signed. This one's uh, pretty cool. So I actually wrote to uh, Mike Wheeler, who signed here at the bottom when he was the crew chief for uh, Matt Benedetto when they drove for the 95, I think, Levine Family Racing. And uh, so he signed the photos that I sent, and he included this signed hero card and signed it as well at the bottom. So uh, I'll be a big fan of Mike Wheeler for the rest of his career. Got Matt Tift from his uh, one and only season as a Cup Series driver. Michael Annette, I received quite a few from him. Um, the first time I wrote to him for a hero card request and some of them were Xfinity series and some of them were cup series. So I had to go through and figure out which ones were which. Michael McDowell, I've gotten him a number of times through front row motorsports, some of the same ones over the years, but a couple different ones as well. This one's kind of hard to see. Paul Menard, I got this in person during his last season. Um, when he was racing for Wood Brothers, and uh, they did a signing at the local Menards, he, Ryan Blaney, and Austin Sindrick, and uh, so really glad to have have that in the collection. Reed Sorensen, I've gotten a few different ones from Premium Motorsports Forum. Ross Chastain, uh, back when he jumped around to a few different teams, got him through Premium Motorsports. Got Ryan Blaney back when he was in the 21, and then again this year, now that he's in the 12. Actually, this was the one I got in person. This was the one I got TTM. Tommy Regan, I want to say there was a link on his website to, uh, to fill out something and uh, get a signed hero card, so I got that. And then I had received a unsigned hero card from Twisted T for Ty Dillon, took it to the race and got it signed in person. So like I said, I haven't been able to add too much to this. Um, I do have a bunch of unsigned ones, but it's like one or two of each driver. I generally like to send like three at a time, if at all possible. Um, or a lot of them I only have one of. And try and make it worth my while, because it does get pretty expensive sending those through the mail. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys collect any NASCAR yourselves? Um, hopefully I can find some uh, other stuff to share with you guys for the for the videos. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best of luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.